Cameron, taxpayers have bailed out mortgage giant Fannie Mae to the tune of nearly $45 billion, but a total of $200 billion in government money is being made available to prop up the company. Now, on top of that, taxpayers are paying millions of dollars in legal fees to defend former executives found to have manipulated earnings so they could get bigger bonuses. One congressman says enough is enough. NBC's senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers joins us live with the story. Lisa. Hi, Monica. First, a little context. In the last nine months, taxpayers have paid more than $6 million in legal fees for former Fannie Mae CEO Frank Raines and two other executives who left the company in 2004 amid allegations they'd cooked the books to generate bonuses. Now, the three executives were found by federal regulators to have manipulated Fannie Mae's earnings over a six-year period to generate more than $100 million in bonuses. That issue was settled last year with the executives surrendering some stock options, but without admitting any wrongdoing. But now Reigns and others are having to deal with shareholder lawsuits arising from their conduct. And under the terms of their contracts, Fannie Mae, and thus now the taxpayers, are picking up all their legal fees. Congressman Alan Grayson says that's outrageous and has urged the federal agency overseeing Fannie Mae to stop it. He said in a letter, quote, given the billions upon billions of dollars that the government pumped into Fannie Mae in the last few years, it is simply an insult to the taxpayers to expend further amounts of public monies to protect the illicit gains of these individuals. Frank Grains alone's Monica earned about $91 million while at Fannie Mae.